the Anna Delvey. Yeah. So you went to visit her in custody. She was like, so how's the shoot going? And I was just like, oh, I, I said, it's going well. To building something special. $40 million loan. Maybe it's what's helped if you stop thinking about me like everyone else, like basic, you know? Julia, I binge these screeners so fast. You're so great. The show's so good. So just first of all, my compliments and thank you for making this show. Thank you so much. <laughs> my first question, how does it feel to be a card carrying member of Shondaland? It, you know, it's it's such a I, I it's such a privilege. I, I I really, you know, Shonda's such a brilliant writer and you know, it was such a joy just saying her lines. <laughs> so I, I feel really grateful. And saying them in that accent, you know I gotta ask about the accent. I just had some questions. I have a question. What's you wearing? You look poor. I spent a lot of the episodes, I'm like, it's a little German, a little New York sometimes. What is the accent in terms of what it's made up of and how you created it? Well, it's definitely, I'm like, it's definitely not New York, but <laughs> it's Americanized. She was born in Russia. She grew up most of her, most of her life in Germany. And, you know, but she, but, but she was convincing people that she was German, that she wasn't Russian. So she's not going to have a Russian accent. And um, the first thing I had to learn was a, a German accent and then Russian and then, you know, uh, put it all together, put it all together. And then she learns English like a Brit because, you know, she's, you're in Europe. They don't learn English like an American. They yeah. learn British English. So that 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 was kind of in there too very subtly and then you know she came to america and she spent a lot of time with americans and being yeah. in new york and musically it shouldn't sound european musically it sounded uh american you know was it hard to stop speaking in the accent it was no you know it I, I got to a place where I, I always want to get to a place where I'm so comfortable in the accent that I will speak all hours of the day, with, with even when I'm off work or if I'm at a restaurant and I'm ordering, I, I'll speak in the accent until I'm comfortable. Give me back that money, please. Why are you being like this so dramatic? But, you know, one of the reasons why I, I love doing accents is it's almost, it, it feels like it's almost like wearing a wig. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of like separation between uh, the character and the actor, um, especially it's it's hard when you have an intense day and then you get home and you're carrying all that emotion from that other character, but then you're also carrying your emotion. So you're really carrying like two people's emotions. And this, this one had a lot of emotion. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing you with your amazing blonde hair now. Were there wigs for Anna? Yes. Yes, oh. we had every look was a wig. Wow. There was in my hair <laughs> in the, in the in, in inventing Anna. So you did in some ways get to take Anna off at the end of the day. Yeah, I took Anna off at the end of the day. I also had, you know, fake teeth. Um, yeah, we, you know, there was a moment right before filming and we were doing testing like looks and um, there was one picture where she was smiling, which I, I it's very rare that I see a kind of her smiling in a way. Um, and then I noticed that she had, like, I have a gap tooth. She, I noticed that she had like perfectly straight teeth. And I was like, oh, this will not only change the way that I speak, so I will sound more like her, but also just my, you know, she has more of a baby doll face. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it'll change like everything. It feels. Wow. Yeah. Well, the transformation's amazing. And of course, so are the clothes. What was it like to wear those items and did you get to keep any of them? Um, it was amazing. You know, it was a really nice breath of fresh air after Ruth. As much as I love Ozark and Ruth, you know, the clothes on Delvey are next level, as you can see. Um, and I did get to keep some of the clothes. Uh, but Do you have a favorite piece you got to wear? I mean, there were so many looks. Like every day I was like, this is my new favorite. This is my new favorite. <laughs> Um, but a lot of the looks, like the big, big looks were archived. So, which I understand, um, like, you know, the iconic, that Alaya dress that she wears, that baby doll black dress with the Celine glasses, that felt the most Anna Delvey. The Anna Delvey. Yeah. So you went to visit her in custody. Do you feel like you know Anna Delvey? I don't think, hmm. 
No, I mean, yes and no. I really know Anna in one sense, but in the other sense, I can't say that I do because I don't think, I think Anna is still knowing herself. Very well put. Um, what did you two discuss? I, I heard that she wanted to hear the accent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she was like, so how's the shoot going? And I was just like, oh, I, I said, it's going well. And she's like, so how are you applying me? What are you doing? And I was like, um, and I started freaking out inside internally. It's like super intimidating. You know, I didn't want her to get disappointed. Um, and because obviously I still care, I'm playing her. Yeah. You know, and and um, I I didn't know what to do, so I started mirroring her, and I was like, "How are you playing me?" And she and she was like, oh, "She's like, oh my god, that's so funny." And then I started mirroring her, "Oh my god, that's so funny." And it was just, it was really funny. And then Jessica um, Pressler was there, the person who wrote the cut art article, and it just got super meta, and it was like such an out of body experience. Was, what world am I in? Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's almost like I wish that there was a camera there because it was like <laughs> it, that almost was like a movie itself in a way. Wow. Um, now, I do have to ask you, I don't know if you saw or read the whole thing, but Anna wrote a piece that came out today in Business Insider, and she said she won't be watching the show and that she felt like a bit of an afterthought. And I wondered what your reaction to that was and what you think she would think of the show. I mean, I never, here's the thing, Anna, I respect whatever Anna does, you know, in terms of whether she wants to watch the show or if she doesn't want to watch the show, that's her choice. And that's totally fine. She doesn't have to watch the show. Every day men do fabulous things and anything I've allegedly done. Anna stole a jet. What's going on? Who are you? I never made the show in anticipation thinking that she's going to watch it. Um, or if she did watch it, great. If not, that's fine, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, she's, yeah, she, I respect whatever she wants to do. Don't get yourself killed. Why do you care? Also wanted to ask you, final season of Ozark is coming. What can you tease for part two? How did you react when you saw how it all ended? You know, it's always funny because I, I I don't, I forget when I'm shooting, like what I'm shooting by the time it comes out. Um, and I forgot like how intense it was, <laughs> you know, but yeah, it's so you're just going to have to wait. I mean, it gets more intense. It gets very intense.